wasn't even like hosts or anything. We were just like behind the hosts pretending we were having coffee together. <laughs> 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 and we did that for about eight hours at the same table, but you couldn't actually talk because if you make noise, you ruin the take. Um, so yeah, we did that, and then we shot a couple other projects together. We thought we were so famous after that yeah. shoot, though. We were like, we're famous! And then <laughs> you wanted to be on Dragon Ball Z, yep. and yep. I was on Dragon Ball Z. Yep. I pretty much, I was at TCU in my freaking fraternity house. And after ESPN one day, they switched it over to Tsunami because all our, all the football players at DC and all the fraternity brothers love DBZ. And we're watching it and they're like, ah, oh, screaming, muzzle, <laughs> And normally, like, we turn it off during the credits, but, you know, the credits are going and there goes Laura Bailey's name. And I was like, what? <laughs> I called her agent, I'm like, is Laura Bailey on Dragon Ball Z? She's like, uh-huh, it records in Fort Worth. I'm like, I go to school in Fort Worth! Oh my god! So I called Laura on her cell phone. I got her number from my agent. And the phone call basically sounded just like, Oh my god, we're going to I'm like, who is this? It's me, Travis. We work together. Get me on Dragon Ball Z. Oh, oh so yeah, much. of course. Of course, yeah. Um, yeah, we'll have you into audition sometime. Three years later. <laughs> I'd see her like every few months at commercial auditions or film auditions. I was like, hey, so I know I said it before, but like, are they having auditions in front of me? In my defense, in my defense. Like everybody in Dallas forward like wanted to audition for Funimation. So like yeah. anywhere you went, if they knew you recorded on Dragon Ball Z, they were like, Hey, I, I do funny voices. You can can you give me an audition? So Yeah, but you ended so up you were marrying just one of the me. masses, babe. That's true. That's true. So finally I did a show with Laura and your roommate Colleen mm -hmm. and Colleen. one of the directors of Funimation, Mike McFarland. And after that show, he was like, Hey, you don't seem to suck very much. <laughs> you dumb audition for shows of animation. Yeah. And so then we started working on stuff. Yeah. yeah. And then you were in Full Metal Alchemist. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Oh, but that's not, yeah. that's not about how we got started in the industry. It was about how we got to know each other. Yeah. I forgot that was what the question was. I thought it was about how we got to know each other. Yeah, and then we dated. Yeah, then we dated. And then we didn't date. Yeah. And then he moved out to California, and I moved out to California. How many years after you? <laughs> Three? Three years. And then he helped me find an apartment, and then we started dating, and then we got married. Uh, just like that. Just like that. To really streamline, just like that. Boom. Thank you. Yeah, hey! We just celebrated our sixth year. Oh, yeah. Six years of Melly. Melly. Which, by the way, we almost had Mary do that. Mary Elizabeth McGlynn was the person that married us. She officiated our wedding. Zara. Yeah, Zara. And Zara. Um, she yep. almost did the marriage. Oh. No, which is what brings us together. But then we found out that the Princess Bride has the same anniversary that we do. Oh. Which I'm sure you did on purpose. Yeah, of course not. <laughs> it's my favorite movie. I love the Princess Bride, y'all. I like it. It's crazy. Right? Okay, who has another question? 